When the New Orleans Pelicans won the draft lottery three weeks ago, there wasn't much suspense on who the top pick would be. Well, Thursday night in New Orleans, Zion Mania officially tipped off. With the first pick in the 2019 NBA Draft, the New Orleans Pelicans select Zion Williamson from Duke University. As if the big crowd at Fulton Alley wasn't already in love with Zion, his first interview after his selection left no doubt that the big man would be a fan favorite. I, I don't know what to say. I didn't think I'd be in this position. My mom sacrificed a lot for me. I, I wouldn't be here without my mom. She did, she did everything for me. I just want to thank her. I don't even seem real that I just shook his hand. I dreamed about this since I was four. And for it to actually happen, I just thank God for it. You know what you're getting as a player when you're building up to this. You think you know what you're getting as a player. You think you know what you're getting as a person. And when you see that kid on that stage who lives for that stage, be incapable of formulating thoughts other than how grateful he is, that impacts you in a really powerful way. So we all went from, oh, to, oh, God, that's really, really sweet. Like, we, it's overwhelming, the human element of him. Williamson is an elite player who can do it all. In one year at Duke, he averaged 23 points and nine rebounds a game and was at times unstoppable. Obviously, physically, he's touched by the hand of God to play this game. Um, he's, he's a population of one. Nobody's really ever been quite exactly like him. You know, people use a lot of big names. People use a lot of Hall of Fame names. Nobody's ever had his exact combination of size, explosiveness, lateral quickness, ability to defend multiple positions, and willingness to do whatever it takes to win. But Griffin was quick to add this caveat to Zion's arrival in New Orleans. Look, this is not somebody who's supposed to be the savior of this franchise. That's not what this is. This is a 19-year-old kid who's going to spend this year learning how to play winning NBA basketball. And everything that we're doing from now until the end of, of our time here as a franchise is going to be about long-term sustainable success. This is Drew Holiday's team. Griffin also managed to turn his number four pick into two first round picks after a trade with Atlanta, selecting Jackson Hayes, the Big 12 Freshman Player of the Year at Texas, and at 17, Nikhil Alexander-Walker out of Virginia Tech. And in the second round, they added Didi Lozada. All of those moves pending completion of trades. So the young Pelicans get younger as the new era in New Orleans will get going with more than a dozen players under the age of 25. Obviously, with Zion being on board, you feel like you've got a high level of elite talent, so you want to surround the, the group with as much high character, as many high character people as you can. I think relative to free agency, it's going to be about game fit, but the hum, human element is still going to drive a huge part of it. You look at how young we are, we're going to need culture driver veterans, um, and I think that's what we're going to continue to focus on. And if the youth movement isn't enough to get Pelicans fans excited, there is this. All of the moves by David Griffin amount to about $30 million in cap space, which means the future is even brighter in New Orleans. And it all starts with the arrival of Zion. At the Pelicans facility in Metairie, Paul Boron for CST.